All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. And how are we all doing on this fine Saturday week and evening in April? Now, before you say, well, wait a minute, John. Didn't you say that you were going to play Quake 2 next time on your stream? Well, I already did. Because this is my second stream of the day. Which is something I have not done for a little bit. But yes, earlier today I streamed Quake 2 for the first time this afternoon. Unfortunately, the OBS decided to derp a little bit. Hello, Pineapple with the frog work. And hello, Sesamir. Um, because OBS decided to derp, unfortunately, I had to upload a local recording to YouTube, which is available to watch on my channel right now, if you so wish, to see how I did in the first three hours of Quake 2 Remastered, including a rather hilarious death involving the uh, adjusted berserkers, um, which hopefully won't get clipped on here tonight. So... Because the Iron Eagle isn't out yet, I have been frantically checking a couple of times before the stream started, but unfortunately Pegweg hasn't seen it, uh, decided to put up the thread yet, but it should be up tomorrow. So I might do the Iron Man's tomorrow, or maybe I leave it till the next Doom stream slot. I don't know. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, because of that, I am uh, playing some more Doom World Maximum Project instead, which I started yesterday and already had a wild variety of experiences with. I expect this to continue. Just as a recap, the Doom World Maximum Project is basically a currently yearly thing that has started since 2021, where anyone could submit a map to the project under one of three categories. But they were women removing... Boom MBF or Z Doom slash GZ Doom type thing. Uh, as long as the map is playable, it gets added. That's it. You have a whole year to make the map. There's really no requirements other than um, I think it has to be of a certain size. In terms of custom textures, you can't use map 7 or 30, swap actions or whatever. Um, you can't use dehacked, but that's about it. You can use anything else. Anything else is free game. Custom textures, decorate, do whatever you want. So really, it leads to a wide variety of um, <coughs> maps and new names and all kinds of crazy shenanigans that, you know, you don't know what you're going to get. There's a lot of mappers here that I've not heard of before, so... We're getting back to the vanilla removing, women removing section. Do I mess up the compatibility at the moment? I say it's doom. Now, until any elevator breaks, and then I'm going to say it back. I'm just doing that to sort of exploit infinite height or whatever. Yeah. So this is Gepetta's Facility by Omni Trekker. And uh, there's no... Wait, there's no music for this? Really? According to this, there's no music. Are you serious? There's no music for this level. Dang! Okay, I'll kind of leave it at that for now because it might be a deliberate decision, but it seems a bit odd that there's no music. Wow, looks like they went for a while of time to do some micro decorating. Look at this outside area. Oh, yeah. They have no choice to have no music in the level, though, I think. I have to say. I mean, it's not de-running, uh, but, you know, I don't know if no music is a lot better. I might have to swap in some music from another level. Something. But we'll see. I mean, there's only 204 enemies. It might not be the longest level. A bit surprised that uh, Omni Trekker decided not to add any music whatsoever to this. I'm just surprised I didn't dodge that. Alright, he's already got himself distracted. Good. You can kill him for me. 
Yeah, you go kill. You go kill some imps for me. I'll get back to you. Oh, you already killed the imp. says Amir. Artistic intent. I remember playtesting stream probably nearly a decade ago at this point in which they offered no music for an entire episode of Maps. Yeah, I mean, I have played Maps before that I tend to have no music, but there tended to be an atmospheric reason for that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. For fuck's sake! And I haven't quick saved either. Please just have a pink if it doesn't magically have two shots in its lifespan. Please. Thank you. Another one. Ugh. Please don't let it be a third. Grief. That was evil. Yeah, I should think so. Give me the super shot. Thanks. Whoa! Yeah, right. Guess these teleport pads are for the enemy, not for the players to deal with. Fucking hell. Ah, oh, come on! Why, why, why did that have to be fucking max damage? Jesus moly. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't dodge perfectly. No, it's all right. Here's a 80% damage shot. Fuck you. How dare you make mistakes? I don't think this map warrants not having music in it, though. I mean, I don't really see where the atmospheric intent is of providing music from this. To be honest. Oh, very well. I'm just gonna weave it as intended. We just take two shots to kill. I mean, yeah, again, I get it. You want to make it unsettling, but does this really scream unsettling to you? Why? Yep. This doesn't really scream unsettling, spooky experience to me. Even though an art did just. I mean, okay, an arch file, yes, that's a little more disturbing, but that's not really. Oh, what a play. Nice. Good thing I had the rocket launcher for that. I mean, if this was, like, really dark and haunting, and there was, like, you know, darkness and moody lighting and spooky shit happening, sure. 
But even then, you usually have some kind of low drumming in the background or atmospheric ambient noise, not complete silence. Uh, oh. Oh, right. It's just a... I thought it was a secret or something. Well, I mean, that's why I did that. What about these spiraling staircases? Uh, approach here. It looks nicely detailed, don't get me wrong, it's just mm. very symmetrical. Some enemies with these guys. I some stock doom music. intro as well. Those doors opening in sync, that was kind of nice. I like that. You seem to be I like this broken wall as well. Oh god, that looks... where this would be going. Yeah. 
being very weary since I could hear an arse cry out. Oh, he's there! Now I know where he is. Now I need to deal with him. There's two of them. Yeah, yeah. Two arch files. Yikes, man. One arch file. Great. And I've got to deal with them now. That's so annoying that I can't go deal with those fucking more annoying. Fuck off. This one can go suck a cactus. Look how annoying that is. That is absolutely disgusting. Fucking having revs at the back of the room. So I can't even immediately deal with them. Ew, 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 ew. So I have to literally take so much time just to get this one arch. That is just, oh. I have to. Fucking boring. Yay! Finally, he is gone. Good. Really fucking annoying. Now I can finally deal with you. That was a cool I mean, it's, yeah, I, I, to which we deal with them, I have to go up the steps. Because I could have done that, but ugh. I want to know the steps were safe. Oh, we got ourselves a kind of a pentagram, I guess. Make a spear gratefully upset. We somni tricker is generous with ammo and health. <laughs> Very generous, in fact. A mega spear. I don't know if that borders on being a little too generous, but I'm not, I won't complain. Oh, now hold on a second. Now that being said, maybe there is a reason they gave out such generousness. It looks like they've got something lined up for the finale here. Who max out stock almost? They got something in speed. Hey, Nine Hills, how you doing? God, no. It's about the worst thing I could have asked to see there. No way, it actually isn't. The worst thing is Revenants. Whoa, okay, yeah. On the other hand, though, having him be completely undistracted is also not good. Yeah, Archvale is also weak. I need him to, I need him to infight something quickly. Yeah, I need him to infight a lot more things. Please be infighting something else now. Oh, there's like a group of hell knights right over there that he can just infight if only he can realize it in time. Oh god, open the exit! Oh my god! Go, 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 go! Press the switch! Jesus moly, that was hard. No, it really didn't. Perhaps that's the idea. Thankfully, it wasn't. Thankfully, that wallowing didn't last much longer. Oh, 
Oh, I'm glad you're doing great, Nine Hills. Wow. That's a certainly a way to end the level. But why the lack of music? The lack of music in that was just weird. All right. Well, I kind of like that map. The detailing was good. Palms by Katamori. Thankfully, this music has uh, music. <laughs> this music has a map, and the music is a MIDI of res. Oh, this better not get copyright claimed on YouTube. This is Resonance by Home. You might recognize it. It's a MIDI version, but that doesn't stop copyright from happening sometimes. Wow. Hey, thanks for the follow, JK Gamer Elite. Like it's a nice sunny day at the beach of hell. That's going to be anti on the web. Maybe not. I like this uh, umbrella. <laughs> I just, yeah, chewing under the sun. Very nice. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps the bad monsters will come out to play. Two different types of it. It's software game. <laughs> Both ending in two. No 
no pistols allowed? I'll be the judge of that. I forgot it. What the hell was the name of that six map set that it came out with last year? The one that was based on the... Thank you, Overboard. Getting a flashback to Overboard. Oh, wait. Just that beat section of one of the levels. Mandatory requirement that all eyes will be shot to check for signal signals. Thanks, John. You have conditioned us doomed players to shoot eyes forever. Good thing we're not, not good thing not many of us are opticians, eh? As that might present a bit of a problem.
Rocky Beyond show. Max health. I shouldn't be good at anything like that. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. We are trials. Oh, no. no. Demon, whatever will I do? Oh no, a cyber demon, whatever will I do? the other time while well, you just Katamori will explain to it if that's right or not. Hey, Alpha, you remember your map now? It's a tough one. 
Well, it's not coming up to the boob section. That will be... Well, I'll see how long these take, but, you know. The sort of rough goal of today's stream is try to get to the end of the set. Yeah? But if not, you know. No rush. Both you and Nine Hills have said your maps are tough and you're in the boob section. Oh, boy. I knew this arena was coming. We keep the rest for a bit, we should be okay. A large biome. meant to be themed like a, a DJ set on the beach or something. Yeah, nice level, kind of money. Nicely themed and interesting to hear resonance in MIDI format. Change the channel by Salmon. And the music for this one is Saboteur by Alfonso. We got four or five maps left. I think Salmon might have made something impressive in the last one. I'm sure that this name's familiar to me, so something. So, TD. Uh, oh, look at that, we got a Doom Cute Remote. Oh. Okay. I guess we did change the channel then. Whoa. What on earth? What in the name of grandiose detailing is this? Is this meant to be inside the TV world? We changed the channel and we changed it to this. Super Project! I doubt Maximum Doom has anything close to this in terms of visuals. So no, not Maximum Doom. Not yet. Maybe, maybe when I feel like having my sanity lowered by a few points, or I do to take on the Maximum Doom challenge. The only taunts, man. Oh no. Pop ups. Scurvy, scurvy pop ups, Mom. Oh no. Ho, 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 ho. I made the level go by too quick, and now there's resonance things. Oh. I don't even have a super shotgun yet. Shit. Why did I press... Why did I change that channel? <laughs> Please appear super shotgun or something over here. 
I mean, uh, good, good, good. Regular shotgun ammo, I guess, is fine. Means it takes a bit. Yeah, not really accepting that level of damage. I might need the utility of the Zerk. What? No. It's called the Doom World Maxima Project because it just is. It's basically the same as what the Doom World Mega Project used to be, you know, before it was killed off. It's just like, it's, it's kind of like the continuation, if anything. Just got a different name. It certainly does. Someone has an eye for this very, uh, big detailing. And the name itself stuck out to me. I, I can't remember what map they did in the previous Mega Project or it was something else. Oh, there's a super shotgun. anyone did anything like that. Well, there was Tarnsman's Project Minimum Doom, which was to take the best 32 maps for Maximum Doom and submit them as a mega ward, but that never got finished. Then again, Tarnsman has about 1,200 projects he's never released, so... fuck around when it comes to enemy placements. Jeez. He 
made any he made a somewhat tricky setup with just reds and pinkies. Yeah, very good use of pinkies there. Oh, I miss anything you said, John, was getting coffee. Oh, John said you are a goofy goofer. I also don't know if you know who Absentia Zakoto, but the witch who with me in my life, they took her flight on April 1st to my place. So I'm not going to be streaming until the 13th. Book 1014 is also still on vacation, so now he just took to call until the 15th. So I'm probably going to keep doing myself in HD so to so we memorize the controls and procedures. Yeah, they certainly are. Oh, JK Gamer, he didn't say anything when they followed, but thanks anyway, he's just working in the background there. Yeah, I bet I've upset to his uh, code, yeah. No, I was saying is that no, this has nothing to do with Maximum Doom. This is to do with this this project is like a continuation of the old Doom World Mega projects that you probably remember from last decade. And I also said that Tarnsman had come out, was going to do something called Minimum Doom once upon a time, which was the best 30 or so maps for Maximum Doom when he played through it and released it as a ward. We never got around to it. I'm starting to think that maybe I didn't hear just a salmon from a previous one because I played something else with something with a name in it before. I don't know what that is. I just know that for whatever reason I saw the name Salmon and I, and I thought, yeah, I've heard of this name before and it's associated with quality mapping of some description. Oh boy. Certainly with an eye for the, the harder side of things. the most generous setup so far. Fair enough. But yeah, pinkies are definitely underused. I mean, they are essentially just meat shields. When used correctly, they are very scary meat shields. I don't think I don't think they're underappreciated in slaughtery setups, though. But perhaps below that, you know, yeah. Sometimes the use of a pinky swarm to provide like a an annoying mobile death zone can be overlooked. Definitely. One thing I will say so far is that there's not been a really terribly concocted map so far. Okay, ignoring Rufy's effort, but that was more of a high-end, swordery, nasty one. But even that map was technically well put together. There hasn't been anything that's absolutely outright bad so far. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, all the maps have been pretty well made. 
at the moment. Well, I'd say it's sort of light, sort of hard, yes. That's a bit of a troll map. Oh, you shouldn't have. Unless we're about to get it after this. After whatever the heck sound has gone, at least for this bit. Ooh, that's the watch. That's a 
what, 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 what is that? That's too many held eggs for you, baby. Your usual box troll maps? No. Wow, look at the fact he has them wallowing in the old steps. He got this house this like there is something about the the careful placement of pop up enemies and encounters. Simon don't support into these fights or how enemies are induced waste. TV thing that we saw at the start of the level. Well, now we have the BFG. You just think that the big scary monsters are on the way. Now that was a lot of nights, but they were also very. Uh, Oh no. Oh, that's easy. Oh god, oh god. I need to get past these guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. And run. Now we just wait to hear the sound of Rev Rocket in the wall. Shit, there's another one. So they're meant to be free. The only place to ban to guard the feet there. Is this the end? Oh. Must have missed something. Oh, there we go. Hey, Steve! I was in here for a bit. 
Okay, we can map here, definitely. Perhaps one of the earlier contenders for standout map of the world in my eyes. Hey, wait a minute. We're back in the same room. Into the Accursed Darkness channel, I guess. I was having taken a lost soul to fly out of the darkness, like a half ass jump scare or something. <laughs> the Lost Soul channel. Ugh. Just to point out as a reminder, by the way, the time you see at the bottom is not the time it took me to beat the level. That's a cumulative time, which for some reason is running instead of just doing it levels on a time by time basis. I'm pretty sure Salmon did a map in the previous Maximum Project. I have some memory of seeing the name Salmon attached to a good map, but I don't know if it was in the Maximum Project or something else. But uh, this is one fish to keep an eye on, most definitely. Mine is to do a sort of hard maps, but in a reasonably balanced way. Not ultra dickish either. I'm happy to keep an eye on, I think, for the future. If I've already said that in the previous one, then yeah. So he was in 2021. But what map did he make then? Fish, yes. Oh yes, fish. Fish. And don't worry, Steve, I haven't forgotten about your 25th anniversary Realms of Chaos revisit anniversary slash the other one that you also, I think, released. The Realms of Chaos stuff. I may get around to those at some point. I'm sure it was... Let me just check. I'm sure it's on my list here. Let's see. Yeah, Realms of Chaos 25th Anniversary Edition, which is the re-release of the original Realms of Chaos. Check. And then there was the one you were coming out with, which I don't know if you... Hangnail. Ah, that must have, that must have been a good map too then. Skull Factory by Half-Life 9000. Oh boy. <laughs> this is a good start. <laughs> and the sad thing is, is this is not the only map that does this. Uh, I want Oh, it's Running From Evil. Sorry, it's D Running. There's two... There's another map that uses this. <laughs> oh. Really? It says that the release calendar was ready. Well, this might be more the kind of thing I was expecting to see at some point. Still, we'll see. So far, this one has been forced. Please don't tell me those hidden chain gunners or something. I can't even see what's in there. Oh, oh my god, it is hidden chain gunners. Sort of hidden chain gunners. It's gotta start somewhere. Which doesn't like this texture. <laughs> As am I, that's why I enjoy playing the Mega Project back in the day. Ah, it's too dark! I mean, great that we've got light level fluctuation. This is usually something that gets missed.
brown one. Sorry, I need to check something else. I'm sorry to be interrupting the video of your map. Half-Life 9000. Let's see. Where is it? All right, here we go. Yeah, it says here, Bells of Tearoff, 25th Anniversary Edition, released Canada 2 released. All right, so it's not... All right, you are right. It's not super, super released yet. Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, when that project, when that is fully ready to be released or whatever, let me know. And I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get around to it. As well as your other thing that you're working on, you know, the one that you've been threatening to do for a long, long time. Flashing lights too. Oh, now all the stops. Oh, there we go. Now this is definitely newbie map territory now. But surprisingly, we're not too boring either. We have lighting variation. I don't know why the whole room has to flicker like this, but we have it. Hey, by by, I'm going. And a tree. We have a tree. The so attempts to make things look a little varied. So. You know, it's fine. Just don't you don't use SS so just I watch it I watch it for thematic purposes, like it's a Wolfenstein theme the game. Come on. trend I've tend to notice in some of these projects is that usually at the back end of a set usually is where the project leader will compile all the maps that are done by the less talented map I should say. So you usually sometimes get a block of these kind of things um, in quick succession. Sometimes, not all the time, just sometimes. You get like a block of like back to back to back sort of maps like this one. Yeah, sometimes. I think I think sometimes it's it the map I mean really the maps could be played in any order within the respective um Category. I just noticed this trend from having played a few of these kind of things in the past. Usually you get a block of maps that are like... Hey, I've sent you. How you doing? Yeah, we have a lot of changing decor and flashing lights. This is supposed to be a school factory. I'm 
quite sure where the skulls come into play, but maybe we'll find out at the end. Be cool if as you enter the room and you start plinking them off, like half the enemies teleport out, like back here or something, and the player is sandwiched a little bit. That might have been more interesting. Jimmy Cleaver, how's it going? Oh, that was the end of the level. So I must have missed a secret enemy or something. Alright, well... I like the fact we had light variation, height variation, and texture variation. Even if that was just a string of corridors in a linear path. But it was a very interesting string of corridors in a linear path. So, yeah. But I didn't know what, but why it was called School Factory. Maybe the entrance is supposed to be the entrance to the school factory, I don't know. Incredible mapper name though, Half-Life 9000. Yeah, <laughs> no, the, the time is cumulative, it's not it's not taking me three and a half hours to beat that map. It's adding up as we go along. What I usually notice in these maps made by new map is that they fail to connect rooms. They are always connected by a corridor. Yeah, when you start out mapping, that's a Tom and Trinity. You notice people just focus on putting rooms together back to back to back to back. They don't really think of like creating a more thingy structure. I mean, even in Firebox, I was kind of similar, but I did have some branching back between rooms but it's something that you do when you start mapping you just create colors and that's fine there's nothing wrong if you wanted to create corridors or you know just to get the fighting as long as right you're creating corridors but with interesting fights in them you know you could work on the way out later if necessary the idea is get something out there release it um make sure your fights are interesting the Unfun House by Rorix. Okay. So this house is going to be unfun. Oh, there's only three maps left. <laughs> okay. 
So the MIDI the music for this one is a, a MIDI by Bjorn Wynn. That's all I know, Obsidian. So Obsidian doesn't know. Ooh, we have a mystery. Mysterious MIDI that Obsidian doesn't know about. Oh my. So if this house is an unfun map, does that mean the map's doing its job accurately then? The map wasn't very fun. Yeah, well the map was called the unfun house. So therefore I'm The problem is I do want to kill these reds, but at the same time I don't wanna have no ammo or anything more in front of me. It's the one where the auto map is. Oh yeah, it looks like the auto map has disappeared. We've got red, blue, and yellow. Yeah, we know the variations. Such. I think the main thing, the main thing that ma mappers need to learn as soon as possible is make interesting fights. Be damned if your map is all star time. We need interesting fights. Right? That's the main thing that should matter. Can't see shit, Captain. needs the other map anyway.
Ah. Should I come back to this? Now, what kind of puzzle is this? Alright, so that just leads up to here, which I can also teleport. Not much of a puzzle after all. Yeah, 
Anyway, now I can deal with these. the unfun house. <laughs> that was a big thing to red key. Have I accumulated? It says red over here, but maybe it walks the red? I don't know. Hey, Dark Shadow Age. How are you doing? Hello Prime, hello Proverbial, hello Shikar. How was your stream? Well, can't we in the unfun house? Fun might well be optional. No, the unfun house, not the woo house. God. And there's some Berserker a Jade Sword at this point. This is really bad.
Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but okay. We got the first key. Just need two more now. Birthday stream with Shadow was extremely fun with eight people playing Sid. Yeah, I think that's why you said you were working early when I was playing Quake too. Definitely at a premium here. Oh my god, ammo really is at a fucking premium here. I don't even know if I should have been coming out. Seriously, I have no ammo at this point. I have nothing left. That means I need to reload because this is the wrong thing to do. Yeah, well, that's not going to be enough to really deal with all the stuff I have. I have to like find some ammo. That is actually really fucking good. Cool. Not gonna lie. A tower fragged arch route. Fuck yes. Get that fucking shit out of here. Fucking serious. Two rockets and you still weaved after that. Fuck you. Just my god. Die, revenant. Die, yes, thank you. I still got fucking in by the way. Unbelievable. Rorix, you do know that ammo is a requirement for weapons, right? This is fucking ammo sink, except, you know, without the... Where the fuck is my chainsaw or berserk if you're going to deprive me this much of anything useful? Jesus. Yeah, well, advertise it as unfun because all the ammo is Oh, 
bloody brutal. Then help it is. I'm just about giving enough breathing space to kill everything. A fucking berserk would be really, really nice though. Then I don't have to deal with fucking ammo starvation issues. That would be like fantastic. Also a Kako dying in two SSG blast. That would also be or just something that isn't... Okay, not going that way. Any chance I can get an enemy that dies in two blasts? Or ammo? Or a chainsaw? Or something? A bit more substantial. I don't think you... Oh my god. Too much ammo deprivation in this fucking level. If this carries on, I'm just skipping the rest of the level. I don't play Doom Wars to be sure on ammo for a significant period of time. So annoying. There's gotta be something I can scrap together. Or locate. Take a deep breath, John, you're telling you get... Yeah, this is starvation. I might press the switch yet to see if I... What did I... Oh, it just opens the door. So the door is just there to open the other door up. Okay. There's a second pain element there. So as nice as it was dealing with one of them, there's a second. And over here there's two pain, two cackles. I see, it's an easy mistake to make, I guess. I mean, fair enough, fair enough. It's like, oh, right, oops, I forgot to... I, I sort of get it. Like, oops, I forgot to make my level ammo balance. It's fine, though, if you find the seven secrets. If you find all the secrets of the maps, then you can have a healthy ammo pool and get through the unthrown house. If not, we'll talk shit. Oh 
no, I found the resurrection scroll. Gives me plus 100 health. Oh no. Oh, what a, oh, what an extremely rare and fortuitous draw. Oh, wait a minute. If I press this button... Oh, there we go! An ammo dispenser! Incredible! He even gave me a BFG! Incredible! Why does it have to be too fucking... You know what would be easier? How about you out there on the pickup? So I can then just plow through these guys and get out of the record time. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Can I just save two six? Yes, I know you want to flood me full of more enemies to waste my ammo that I don't have to spare, but I got a plasma gun now. Secret with some health and things in it. Holy shit. <laughs> Uses no quip. I found the exit. Hello. Depop. Hello, Xbox. Wow. Well, I'm not allowed to complain because the map's called the Unfun House. So if I was having too much fun, then this probably would have been a bad map. Concept. So I've got to give shout out to. Rolex for being true to the bapping word. You lost again today? Oh, poor Depot. Is it the Champions League first round game, uh, first leg of the quarters this week coming up? I feel like the Champions League quarter finals aren't too far off. Yeah, I'm to see if I have a secret. Now, you know, I can't... I, maybe if it was triggered by me shooting at it early, I don't know. Oh. So we're not completely starved, we just got to be really, really good at playing secrets. I guess. But I guess it's just about squeezable, maybe. It's nice to give, it's nice to give others a chance, Depop, you know? So I've cast device to teleport to Mavix. Yeah. Alright, well that's all that dealt with. 
I mean, to be fair, the secret did allow me to teleflag the arch vial, so... You know, I guess that's just the way it rolls. If you find the secrets, you're good. okay. I might just be okay. <laughs> I might just get through the old fun house. Oh, well, I can go out. I thought it'd be an invisible wall, but there was... Basically, the whole comment section under today's post mass press conference wants Tuchel's head. Well, if you flop out the Champions League to Arsenal, I'm sure you'll get your wish. And then who knows where Tuco ends up. That'll be a problem for next season. Hey, maybe you can get Jurgen Klopp in. I hear he'll be available soon. I think they were having up in the media the other day, but he might be going back to Germany. So, you know, you might get Klopp as your next manager. That'd be something. Yeah, more Doom Xbox, my second stream of the day. Something I've not done for a little while. But the last time I did this was the last time I had a break and I played some game twice in a row. Maybe Necrovision? But it's the first time I've played two different games on the same day while I've been streaming twice. Since the days of Dope Wars. Well, this used to be a regular occurrence for me. Two, even three times a day, I would stream. Because I didn't have anything else going in my life. Still enjoyed the crap out of it, though. Alright. Now the poem is the Aunt Fanny. I've gone from the poem of being ammo star to the poem of, well... Now I need to find a yellow key. If I use the Gruff Garrens on the map, though, I should be able to locate where the yellow key is expected to be. I think. It should be down here. Oh, it's quite like this thing, isn't it? The one with the mancubus on it. See you in a moment. Tells me to get the fuck out of here. Now it's gotta find where the exit is. There's a weird area with 
three things somewhere. Where was it? Are you saying it's this thing over here? Is the thing I'm looking for? Well, that's why. No, let's just point out something else. <laughs> now, I think I know what I'm to look for. I just need to find it. You like in the diorama detail. There's like a weird section of like... Hey, Swicer. Am I the only one that feels Twitch web interface game more responsive as time goes on? Good evening, by the way. Happy to see you. Likewise. Ah, where's that section gone? No, no, do I. The other map being gone is very silly. Well, it's meant to be... So, well, I'm guessing the idea is to be unfun, so maybe navigation is also part of the lack of fun that is on offer at this particular house. section of the house I Advertised, the map was unfun and ammo starvation y. GG on penis level, yeah. GG indeed. Let's move on. Oh boy, that was a level. Zoetta Fields by Optimus. There's only two left in this uh, group now. Hey, it's deep running time! Again. I'm sure I've played a map by Optimus before, though.
where did these webs come from? Oh god, the fire blue is moving around. Time to play our own music. No, 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 no. Wait, he doesn't. It's lost souls vanished. Oh, that means there must be a lost soul ambush. There must be over the women. Since we're playing with Vanilla Women the Moving Rules, that is a thing that I guess can be real out. I let happen. Tough luck, Pain Element. You had no. Fire Blue is moving on its own. Quite big. I expect a massive fight coming. Fire Blue has been unleashed. Here comes the hordes. Oh, you're not wrong. Fireball just took out a Gacko. Okay! That's a little mean spirited who said there's no fucking cover out here!
Like, seriously, there isn't any actual cover out here. A big wide open area, and we just throw one archer out into it. Okay. At least it was just one. Pop is exaggerating, but he's not exactly far off what I would be calling for this giant spot. Look at the size of this area. It warrants a lot more than what we've just I've just had to deal with. You know thing? Like if you have a big size area like this, you either have a grand visual spectacle or you have a grand monster. Better. Usually both. I've already unleashed whatever this key was supposed to do. Might as well grab the key. Wait, what am I? There's a 
side passage over here. So I'm probably supposed to find in the dark. Oh, it's the same one as before. Well, I don't think I need... I can move up all the health potions. Go in the hole! It's a sweet to area I've already been to. There's a week to anything new, Shakara. Uh, well, we got a spiral staircase and whatever that is <laughs> coming up. Oh, God. <laughs> it's something, all right. Now, the thing is, there's a side area about we got to go into over here. Oh wait, no, no, over there. Here. No, it's not a sun. This is why we didn't buy those pedonals weren't popping lost souls off. You have to show for burial that when he comes back in a second. Oh wow, it's actually blocked off as well. Wait, is that a missing texture above it or slow it? Or is it just, well maybe it's not, it just looks like it. This is the Zoetta Fields. It's gonna be a blue key here somewhere. I mean, yeah, when I saw it on the owner map, I thought it was, like, maybe some kind of closet, but... Yeah, or you think, like, shipping containers or graves? Nope, it's this. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good point. I think it might just be best if I just left this area. Alright, then you grab those shells, then we. I can't tell, is this a no, is this a, a missing texture? Did he really just splice an invisible wall between grass and blood lottery thing? And now I want to wonder something else, actually. So I certainly have a reason to maybe kill all these enemies and check on something else. It really is just a, a f wait. It really is just a flat texture swap from this thing to the other. It looks like there should be a home somewhere, but there doesn't seem to be. It's just the same floor height giving the illusion of a home. Wait, like, why not put a little railing up here and it looks a lot more better. Like, I like the fact we've even got scales of lighting difference to apply distance, but why not put a railing up around all of this and then it's look a lot better? Or have the boxes lower or do something or have different heights or something. Again, another area with a decent looking vista, ignoring the fact that this area is not got the massive sky. You know, we got this cool lighting with these pillars, and we got all this, and it just feels wasted to me. Wasted potential of scale again. Anyway. I don't think this is their first map, though. I'm sure I've played a map by Optimus before. Maybe in the last one. Well, all that's left is a spirally staircase in the dark with plasma ammo bleeding down to. This better not be a spider. It is. It's lost souls. Walk into the exit, bam, done. It does, but I'm very sure this is not their first map. I am sure I have played an Optimus map in something else. Maybe last year's Maximum Project, in fact. I left before the Golden Die, yeah. I feel like this map, um was alright, honestly, it just had two big areas that needed more to them, both. Alright, well, this is the last map, and hey, the map is in the chat! This should be fun. UAC Underworld by Sezamir to finish off Vanilla Slash Women Removing. The music for this one is Cataclysmic Impact by Jimmy. Apparently I've played this before. Just a different alpha. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is starting to look a bit familiar now. I... What? Oh, 
no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Hoping for a fucking distraction, man. Oh, fuck it, I'll take the damage point. The arch battle is defeated. Let's go, baby. Okay. Holy shit. Now I've played this map for some playtest session fast. I don't know how long ago that was, but I remember that start. Definitely not proceed to do anything too fast until everything is dead on this level. Thanks. Not worth breathing on this one. Okay, it would be really nice to not be seeing Revenant homing dodging. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Dodging everything everywhere. Damage everywhere. Nice. They're both very dead. Oh my god. Did not pick up the plasma. Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm inclined to believe that things get remain as difficult for the rest of the race. I think. Yes, now we proceed. 
get that. Oh. Alright. I'm so glad I backpedaled off that platform. What the fucking hell? How many arch valves did we restick in the level here? You need to die. Yeah, right now. You also need to die. to get worse, though. I don't remember how, but I just know it will. remember what the uh, rest of the map was like. That's a restart. Fucking this brutality. Jesus. Hey, Ghost Austin. How's it going? Hope your stream went well. Welcome to pain! Dog. 
before it's spitting out things. Why? Why did I not tell you to tone it down, a bitch? Holy fucking shit. My God. Please do not tell me that I fucked up and made a bad save. Get out of my fucking way! Oh my god, Fesimir, why, 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 all the why? I cannot foresee the pace, it seems. I must be more cautious, I guess. I should probably be grateful for the fact that the arch files are at least seemingly caged, so I can proceed slowly. If I can deal with the pain element, that is. Holy fucking shit. Alright, if we proceed carefully, since I've used all my plasma to secure this, I might be alright. Yeah, the arch valve is there. Now at least I know where the arch valve is. That's, that's good. Yeah, come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Thank you. Now fuck off. Power Slave PC. Oh yeah, there were some tricky things in there. Yeah. Alright, we can do this. I just have to be more patient at this point. So let me try to do this. Oh, I'm getting fucking angry at that shit though. That's also a reload as well. I can't afford to be losing health at this point. Sadly, not when I'm not guaranteed to be a when I'm just chain that is prowling around. I need, like, very quick. I need to preserve as much health as possible. So there are chain that is out there that I will have to deal with. Alright, just gonna have to be patient until enough of the wanderers get over here or whatever. And I can make a run for something. Okay, just gotta be patient, that's all. I'd like the super shotgun. Make clean out these lost souls or whatever. Proceed over here. Can I proceed anywhere without getting attacked by everything? Will things start dying? That would be nice. Nice. That's good. Please, no arch out there. Nope, he's there. Right, back into the shelter until all the lost souls are gone. Even though there's a fucking pain element of causing these lost souls, but that pain element will have to go. Right, let's get rid of this fucking thing. Thank you. Now we will have you no know, massive influx of souls for the rest of the day. There we go. Alright. What kind of feedback did I give to this anyway? Wow, that was really great! Really appreciate the fucking health decrease. 
God forbid I'm allowed to kill an archbow and get away with it for three seconds. Goodness me. Piss off. Bye. I had a much easier time. I'll take your word for that. Maybe I had a better strategy. I definitely know what I found this part of the thing, right? Yay! Archvow is dead. Good. Oh god, there's still two of them up there. Yay! Dead! Yay! Dead! Yay! Not dead. Now dead. Okay, I can breathe now for three seconds. Holy moly. Alright, awesome. There we go. Oh, there's a super shotgun. Just in the middle of this nice area that is totally not a trap. We go, apart from when it is a trap. Yeah, I can see the fucking chain very fuego. Bye, chain gunner. Hello, health. There's health coming, right? I was gonna say because all the chain gunners are dead. I fucking know. Oh, there we go. I always the end count count by that 200 enemies. I think. I always I did with one version after you played it. I mean, certainly ammo and health is reasonably not the issue here. Ah, okay, so I did... I mean, I can't remember... I mean, I just remember the intro area. And I remember it being pain, so I guess you reduced that. So I guess you could say that, well, you asked the West to tone it down, and I say, well, I did. My god, did I just survive that? The skin of my fucking teeth. It seems to be every. Well, okay, no, no, no. Let's not press that button. I'd like to see if you've left me any salvageable resource back there, you know? And you did. You did that. Real bad. Okay, 
No, that's a compatibility thing. Don't worry. I've had that on a few of them, man. It's just something weird with vanilla and elevators. I don't know. It's happened on other maps too, so it's not just yours. Like, I, I know it's just on Epic Yolo's map, and as soon as I switch the compatibility to something other than Doom or Doom Strict, it works fine. I don't know what the fuck the deal is. I don't know if that's a G. I'm gonna just, I don't know if that's a GZ Doom thing or whatever, but. Yeah. Starting to maybe, well, I, I have to run the U, the G Zoom stuff in GZ, dude. That'll be fine. I mean, always, always an issue that could be fixed by flicking a compatibility setting once, and then that's it. Please die before the alpha comes through. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck you, Arch Vile. No, 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 no. Yeah. My victory. Mine. You will. Fuckers. I mean, I argue we could have... I mean, I argue we could have played this and the other one in DSDA Doom and switched over, but... Oh, I've played with Jeezy Doom long enough. I know it's reasonable enough for me to do some of the time. Just a bit iffy when it comes to compatibility sometimes. Yeah, hey, at least you didn't put pain sectors there. Why do I have a bad memory about this room? It hits the van again, and then I feel, and then I feel very pain. <laughs> you know, I might just go aggressive here and try to win Oh man, that was kind of. Weird. I think killing one of them is a good idea. Maybe the other one. Yeah, just get out before the other one. Yeah. Oh, you put an arch spell in it! Fuck you, man! Oh my god. Okay, I think I made it. Nice. Now that our spell is gone. Holy moly. I'm fucking no any. Yeah, but Chang gonna let DPS was too high to stay with it for a second.
did you come from? Out of this bit, I think. Oh god, the arch bow is now decided to knock off the platform. Yeah, it's alright, mate. Just put yourself in the worst position possible. Great. Let's go to you first. Captain dipshit of the fucking unwanted thing. Bye. Now, let's have the Archbow not randomly disappear off the side of the fucking island. I hell no out there. Get me this time to do it. Down you go. Down you go. Yes, that is a bit too many SSD quest meeting. Yes, I'm safe. It feels like every time I make five feet of progress in this world, there's something waiting to come up behind me. Just want to make sure that we get there, you know. Can you guys please start dying in three blasts? Thanks. Thank you. progress forward at all. No red key. For yeah, the red key was also just deprived to be there. For now. A 
red key off it. But more pain to go with it. There's still 80 enemies left. You messed with you tested this with CD. Again, fuck off with the vials in there. Oh no, what is this? Ah, ow, ow, ow. Very painful mastermind, yes. The, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, I gotta go for you. Oh my god, run the fuck back. Oh, I can't do that. Hold oh, on, face. Strategy because I can't stay in those rooms for too long. You can press the switch and get the fuck out of me. Oh. Yeah, apparently that was really what I had to do. Oh. want to be using the ammo on both. Oh, great. get out, but unfortunately it might be a bit hard. What with the fact we have extra enemies to deal with. Again. For fuck's sake. Do I really have to kill? Oh gosh, yes. Okay, 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 okay. I have to kill the cybers to make sure I'm safe from the fucking vial. Bye. I was hoping to leave them and just get the fuck out, but obviously no. Now I have the ammo to deal with them, I guess I will God. Ugh, give me 
bouncy splash damage box as well. Wait for him to miss. Good. I am so going to save some deception. Okay. Thankfully, that one was weakened for the first time. Let's hope the second one was also. Oh, wow. He was weakened last time. Great. Now, maybe I don't have to flee that arch valve set immediately. Try to stab it dealing with it. Or even do this. We all resurrecting those. Please. You'd think that eventually splash damage would allow me to fucking kill that vial. Oh, don't tell me that's the fucking feeling right now. Fucking instant arch valve. The moment I step forward is key. Yeah, that shit can fuck right off. Oh, hang on. Never mind. I thought it was when you triggered on the key. So I didn't realize you were just coming out from the side. Never mind. I thought they were just popping over something as soon as they... Oh, come on! The love of God. One time. Min damage. No 80. Fucking hell. I am sick of dodging remnant attacks. I am sick of dealing with arch vials. I am sick of receiving 80 damage fucking revenant projectiles every time I try to dodge. Revenant projectiles are the reason I get fed up of playing this fucking game. I have to deal with them over and over and over again. It's great. It really, really, really does. Honestly. That's a genuine thing, too. I genuinely do get fed up with dealing with Revenant projectiles. So they come up about 90% of the levels you play in. Just get a bit annoying. Alright, and let me guess, those are the ones from over here. They've now teleported forward, yeah, I thought so. Oh my god, thank god that's over. It's as funny as Kako fighting 600 dogs at the same time, yeah. GZ Doom is definitely different from DSDA. I kind of like the quality of life stuff in DSDA though. But GZ Doom is good as well. Holy moly. Jesus says to me, that was fucking brutal. The final map of Vanilla Rootman is not fucking mess around. Leaf. That's my summary. Good grief. But yeah, that's uh, all the vanilla levels done from Peg Lake to Sesame. Oh, I, I trust me, Sesame. I, I believe that entirely. Rufy's map was far more sadistic, and that was a small room, and I know El Inferno's map that's coming up later will be fun. 
It would be, yeah. Parts of that were way too fucking dark. I would agree with that. But other than that, brutal. Jeez. I probably gave most of my play testing feedback on that when I played it the previous occasion. Anyway, that's all the that's all the vanilla maps done. Which means I can set the compatibility to Boom Strict now. <laughs> and hopefully that will be there will be any more issues in the Boom set. Fingers crossed. So yeah, going over the vanilla maps. Um, I think my favorite of all of those would be Salmon's Change the Channel. Um, by the way, Cannonball got back in touch with me regarding his map on YouTube. If anyone's curious for hit see their response real quick. Uh, regarding their map. They did actually, um... Respond to the thing from last time. And according to YouTube, he states, The map was inspired by the works of Malcolm Sailor, the Chord series, in particular Chord 3, which used the same MIDI. So unfortunately, the map was always going to be tightly wound and pack a punch. The fake wall vials are actually supposed to be released when the blue key is picked up, but good punching skills allowed you to preserve enough ammo to take them out early. Good job being the map. Yeah. So, there was no really super terrible map in all of that, honestly. I mean, arguably the weakest map was probably Skull Factory, and even that was very much playable. And the most evil map was Rufy's map. Um... But yeah, Salmon's was definitely the standout of that particular set. For sure. So, coming up in the Boom and MBF collection, we got Walter Confetti, Obsidian, Silhouette, EM, The Viper Killer, Obake, Kako Demon 187, who I've also played a few of their maps before, Jazz Master 9, El Tio Lavera 9, that's a hell of a long map name, Nine Hills map, Wingbag Jacket, El Inferno's map, I'm very tempted just to very quickly teleport to that, but I know that's going to be a sword of map without even even needing to do that. Uh, Zizzy One, Suya SS, Worm Three Eighteen, Worm Three Eighteen. That's somebody else I associate with making good maps. Maybe they made something pretty outstanding in the previous Maximum project, and Knife World. So quite a few to get through, but uh, some. Some uh, quality should be uh, continue to be expected if it's anything like what I've seen so far. Actually, we could better do it in reverse. There. I guess I'll find out when I get to it. Don't we have a... Well, it's not a pest off platform, unfortunately. But it's a thing. Alright, so, um, I think I'm going to call it there for tonight. It has been around three hours. And I think most of my energy has been taken away by Sesame's final map of the project. But, uh, yeah! Uh, the Maximum Project 2022 edition continues to entertain me and provide all kinds of different experiences. Um, if I do stream tomorrow, it will be Quake 2, as I continue to alternate between this and Quake 2 for the next couple of streams. Um... The Iron Man's will probably be out by then. I don't think I'll be double streaming tomorrow, but... Don't count it out either. I'll see how I feel. <laughs> I'm doomed to Doom 3D. 
Yeah, all right, I know. So it's not too dissimilar. But hey, this this is an idea that if it works out this time, I will be doing with other kinds of games. So it will be a drastic difference from playing one FPS game to another FPS game. <laughs> I mean, in Quake 2, I can't, I don't have to deal with 200 enemies at once. You know, so it's different enough. For sure. So yeah, the next stream will be Quake 2. Unless I decide to do the Iron Man. Wow, 20 viewers, nice. Let's go raid someone with this. Who shall we go and raid? What, who's streaming or what? Thanks to everyone who's been watching. Uh, hmm. Those is alive. Um, oh, for fuck's sake, why is there a bloody advert? I just want to check this. Oh my god, there's a 20 for a fucking advertisement. All I want to do is literally just. Check if this stream is all right before I send people to raid them. But no, I got a pot with an ad for something called Abigail, which I left muted just in case, you know. Looks like a horror movie about a creepy girl who's a vampire. How nice. Oh, Australian music enthusiast, survival horror, first and third person shoes. Oh, All right, they seem pretty cool. We'll give them a raid. So yeah, um, I'm gonna raid Original Gaz. Apparently, an Australian musician, and uh, is playing Duke too, I think. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, for more Quake Two. Have a good night, everyone, and stay safe.